Hey, I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. I've been following this Young Thug case for a minute, uh, seeing what's been happening, any little updates, and if I could maybe better inform myself as the days and weeks go by. Something that's given me a bit of concern, obviously, is uh, the optics surrounding this case what it means for hip hop, what it means for inner city black folks. So the first thing that gave me extreme pause about this situation was seeing Young Thug's label owner, Kevin Lyles, cry at his bond hearing. Seeing this genuinely disgusted me. I'm gonna be honest with you, this, 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 this pissed me off in like the biggest way. One of the bigger arguments that has been used against Young Thug uh, as it pertains to this case as to why people feel like he shouldn't be behind bars right now is because his lyrics are being used as almost shots against his character. Now, obviously I feel like this is being misinterpreted as lyrics being used as a foundation for the entire case, which they are not. The reason I get upset seeing Kevin Lyles cry at Young Thug's bond hearing is because this thing has been happening for years, for, for, for generations. Rappers living a certain lifestyle, doing what they know, doing what they were raised in, doing what their environment has kind of pushed them toward. And then a label owner seeing the potential, the talent that this artist may offer, the revenue that they can generate, the money that they can drive back into the label owner's pocket. They see these things and instead of offering this young artist rehabilitation along with the check that they offer, it's just, we can give you money and you can do what you wanna do in a bigger space. Just like how I don't agree with the criminal justice system as it does a really shitty job at reforming the ideology of the people that they keep putting in, I have just as big of a problem with label or label owner seeing someone who clearly isn't used to money or used to things in general and attempting to seduce them with the idea of wealth, seduce them with a world that they aren't used to without any reformation. And then coming to his court case years later after you funded habits that you already saw were problematic way back then and crying about it now. And this happens all the time. X, I believe, was signed in jail. TK was signed after he had admitted to whatever he was doing. Kevin Lyles, to me, is no better than Lior Cohen. Individuals who, in my opinion, see an opportunity to make money and will fund any person regardless of what it is they're doing if the chances for a lucrative opportunity are available. When I see Young Thug being pulled out of his home, this beautiful, almost mini mansion of a property that he has. And then you go inside and you see the details and the list of what they pulled out of that household. Perfectly embodies you can take me out the hood, but you can't take the hood out of me. So I understand and am perfectly aware of the idea that Young Thug is a grown ass man. Gunna is a grown ass man. The other members of YSL, as they are being labeled a quote unquote street gang in this operation are grown ass men. I don't, don't, get, don't get it twisted. I completely understand that. They have to be held accountable for whatever it is that they're doing, even if the prosecution doesn't care about who they did it to. You see how those three things can be true at the same time? Kevin Lyles can really be crying over his investment as opposed to caring about what Young Thug has to do in the future. I'll be curious to see if Kevin Lyles funds Young Thug's family, his homies, his friends, while Young Thug is away. Because to me, that's really what shows if you down for your man, if, if this is somebody that you would cry over, you're gonna take care of his peoples while he's in. That's what I would think. Let's hope that's what's happening. Let's talk about how rap lyrics should not be used in anything court related. Now let's go back again to accountability. You are a grown ass man. You should not be telling on yourself in your music. It should be that simple. But the justice system being able to pick and choose what's fiction versus what's real, what's entertainment versus what's actuality, and nitpick and decide which lyric fits which crime. We're gonna recontextualize this lyric and put it to this because I want this lyric to match this crime and I can force that. If that becomes a precedence, I can change the context of almost any rap lyric and fit it to any crime I decide. You realize how problematic that is. They don't go through books published by authors, look through the pages and say, you know what? This looks really similar, eerily similar to this thing. They don't go through movies that are that are put out there by directors. And you know what? This scene, this scene looks really familiar. You probably heard me say that and said to yourself, Oh, well, that's because it's just a rap song. Rap is an art. The purpose of using this is to diminish rap as an art form because we don't see this happen with any other genre of music. The only reason it happens with rap is because it must be true. They aren't creative enough to, to imagine a detail or, or to lie for entertainment. We have to criminalize everything that is within their lyrics that we can because this has to be the truth. We have to make it be the truth. Anyone who's 
confused as to why it shouldn't be used as evidence I know that's what you just said. I can say I left 20 niggas leaking with the blower. What, are the police allowed to come to my house, break down my door, and connect me to every shooting that happened over the last few days? No. So let's understand that as well. Rap lyrics should not be used against people in the court. At the end of the day, I could say I'm selling this. This is all entertainment. None of it's true. You're going to force it to be true now after I've said that it wasn't just to fit the case? Connecting these very vague ass, sometimes non-descriptive lyrics to cases is just lazy police work in my opinion. Being able to get away with it is another conversation, but let's establish another foundation. Young Thug is not, I repeat, is not in prison right now for his rap lyrics. When you hear his lyrics being quoted by the prosecution, you're hearing essentially character assassination. This is why we believe he's a danger to himself, to others, and to the community he should not be let go. Snoop Dogg, another prime example of a person who almost had his lyrics used against him in court. The district attorney tried to use his lyrics against him to say that he was guilty. Regardless of how y'all feel about rappers and their lyrics, how descriptive sometimes they might be, this is not evidence. This is not proof. And that's the game with the law. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. To accept that information is lazy and unconstitutional. But let's again, set the record straight. Young Thug is not in the position that he is in right now because his lyrics were the primary evidence. Those two things can be true at the same time. Lyrics in court cases can be bad and Young Thug also isn't in prison because of them. If anything, what we're seeing his lyrics be used for is a way to keep him in. My issue is people like Kevin Lau, like Lior Cohen, that see these individuals that clearly have vices that are going to get them in trouble later. And saying, let's throw a few million at this guy, knowing that he's going to make us a big return later. And when he ultimately goes to prison, let him deal with it. It's a cycle. It's, it's a loop. It's almost like the label ends up handing these artists to the police, ends up handing them to the hands of the government. And then once they've made their money, they wipe their hands free. They, they're, they're clean. Kevin Lyles right now is being looked at from a sympathetic point of view. Why? Nigga, go take that money to his kids. Go take that money that you gonna put up for his bail to his family. Go put it towards the community that he's allegedly terrorizing. It's bullshit, man. In this, there's also a group of people that don't want Young Thug to be looked at as what he is, which is a grown ass man. He's not in this position because he was baking cookies, okay? He was baking niggas. Just like with R. Kelly, as it pertains to the young black girls, when people were saying young black little girls don't matter, so long as he wasn't doing it to anyone important, he was in the clear. People heard about these allegations and knew about these things for years. Now is Young Thug R. Kelly? No. Is he in the position that he's in along with the other members of YSO for potentially victimizing a group of an already oppressed people? Possibly. But black people only matter when they're entertainers. Vince Staples said a while back in an interview with The Guardian, audiences will happily sing along, he says, until confronted with the reality. But it happens every day, he says. We just don't care about people like me and where I come from. We pretend to. Well, here's the here's the victims. Here's the struggle. Like I said before, if this were Young Thug as the victim, we'd be making think pieces about why uh, the culture needs to change and why everyone else is the problem. When he's the perpetrator, now he's also the victim. Come on, Lil Wayne was listed as a victim in Young Thug's indictment. One of the greatest rappers of all time. But nah, bro, it's, it's everybody else. It's everybody else all the time. Again, Young Thug's still a person. He's still, he's still, a, he's still a human being. So I'm always care. I'm gonna always have that natural level of empathy, but I don't have to feel bad because I don't. I realize the situation and I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, but I also care more about the everyday walking black person than I do about a celebrity. And if that everyday walking black person is one of the victims to this celebrity, who you think I'm gonna have more empathy for? At the end of the day, I understand why people are upset with this trial why it makes sense that it will put a sour taste in most people's mouths but i think there are too many angles to look at this from to have one clear victim in this case 